Then there was some drama a little bit earlier as you asked Stetson Bennett who his favorite linebacker was on the team. Remind me who he answered? Um, he said Robert Bill and just wanted Robert Bill to know me and you, we share a lot. And for you, for Stetson to say something like that, it really hurt my feelings. Um, Bill, I love you, but it was supposed to be Nolan that came out of his mouth, and I felt a little bit disrespected. How do you feel like bouncing back from that? I mean, is this something that you're going to work on in the offseason to become Stetson's best friend on that crew or what? Um, yeah, I'm going to just build my connection. Like Coach Smart says, I think it's really, you know, just a lack of respect that he didn't think I was one of his closest friends. Mm. Uh, all right, so now no contact uh, jersey in practice and go after him a little bit harder? How, how would Coach uh, Smart deal with that? No, Coach Smart would never do that. He's way too valuable to our program for us to hit him or even come close to him in practice. Hey, there was so much leadership last year in this team, one of the most historic defenses we've seen en route to a title. A lot of leadership goes. How do you fill that vacuum? Um, you, you really don't feel it. You know, you let guys watch the other leaders in front of them, and you, you have to follow before you can lead. And I followed Aziz for years, and he didn't lead by his voice. He led by his actions. And I just took a different role when I became leader and lead by my voice. And, you know, N'Kobe does the same way. So I think, you know, Pop, Smile, and those guys will be able to step in that role because they had someone, you know, do it in front of them. How do you stay fresh, right, going from the hunter and now everybody's got you as the hunted? Yeah, I tell people it's, it's just a mindset. You're always either the hammer or the nail, and that's just in life. So, you know, we're going to try to be the hammer every game and not be looking over our shoulders. We're going to hunt and not be hunted. All right, so are you a hunter? Are you a fisherman, golfer? Like, what, if you're not wrecking offenses, what are you doing for fun? Uh, I usually am fishing for fun and – I say one big thing is I love being out on the boat, man. Catching fish is nothing better than that. <laughs> well, I mean, what do we do? Are we doing bass? Are we doing trout? What, what's, what's the special? We doing bass. We do trout. But I love fishing salt water. I love, man. If you think, if you, all you need is a hot dog to catch a, a catfish, really. And I'm from the country. If you put a hot dog in there for 10 seconds, you catch anything out the water. All right, last question for you. I saw you talking to Tim Tebow right now in the weight room. Who puts up more weight, you or Tebow? Tebow look big, but I'm pretty sure, you know, those, but as you age, your bones get brittle. I don't want to call Tebow out, but I'm pretty sure he looks good, looks the par, but can he really still squat 500? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.